In this video, we showcase the new Active Disturbance Rejection Control ADRC block, which is used for designing Active Disturbance Rejection Controllers that are applicable to a wide range of control applications, including power electronics, motor control, and temperature control. ADRC works well even for plants with unknown or changing dynamics, internal and external disturbances, and often provides better performance than PID controllers while not being computationally expensive. Now let's see an example where we use the ADRC block for a power electronics application. This model contains a boost converter circuit that regulates DC voltage to a desired level by control switching of a MOSFET using PW impulses. In this case, we use ADRC to generate the appropriate PWM duty cycle to maintain the required output voltage in the presence of input voltage and load disturbances. Now let's take a deeper look at the ADRC block. This block lets you design active disturbance rejection controller by configuring key tuning parameters for the control algorithm. These parameters include time domain, model type, and tuning goals. Here, the unknown dynamics and disturbances are modeled as an extended state for the plant and estimated by an observer. For this example, we select a discrete time controller, configure the model type as second order, and enter the critical gain B0, both of which we estimate by looking at the step response of the system with reasonable values. And finally, configure the controller and observer bandwidth based on performance specifications. With the ADRC block parameters set up for our application, let's go ahead and simulate the model. We see that the performance of the ADRC controller is good in maintaining the required output voltage of 18 volts and is able to tackle the input voltage change at 0.025 seconds, as well as changes in the load at 0.04 seconds. For this application, we can either use a PID controller or an ADRC to maintain the required voltage. But ADRC controllers often react better to disturbances such as changes in input voltages or load and work well for a larger range of operating points. Let's simulate the model for a different reference voltage, say 12 volts, without making any changes to the ADRC. We can see that ADRC still maintains good performance and is able to tackle the disturbances. Now on simulating a similar setup with a PID controller at different operating points and comparing it with ADRC, we see that the initial overshoot, the overshoot due to changes in input voltage and ripples due to changes in the load are lesser with the ADRC variant. The difference in performance is particularly evident when the model is simulated at a different operating point, say at 12 volts. We see that ADRC performs better than PID as it does not have to be retuned to account for changes in system dynamics. This concludes the video.